Hello my friends and welcome back to Three-Legged Dog Yoga. I am Lindsay, this is Chewy, <laughs> and today's class is a power class focusing on balance. Uh, so one of the things that I absolutely love in yoga are the balancing postures because I find you really have to go inwards and you really have to focus to find your balance. So today we're going to be working on that. It's not super long. Um, you might want some blocks if you have them or some books. Those will be handy. Uh, and if not, that's totally fine. We can still do without. Let's get started. Alrighty, my friends, let's start today on hands and knees in tabletop position. So shoulders are over the wrists, hips are over the knees, and our toes are nice and tucked here. Taking a moment to take a deep breath. And then we'll start flowing through some cat-cow. So on the inhale, drop the belly down, arch the back, look up. And then exhale, draw that belly to the spine, round it all out. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, round it all out. We'll do two more like this on your own breath. So inhale to look up. <clears throat> exhale to round. And one more. Inhale to lift, look up. Exhale to round. Awesome. We'll find a nice tall spine, nice neutral spine. And let's reach that right foot back. And then squeeze into the glutes, lift it up and reach the left arm out in front of you for bird dog. Coming into our first balancing posture here, finding that place of focus, that drishti point on the floor. Keep nice and focused, stay with the breath. And then we'll drop that left hand down, pivot on the left foot, and open that right arm up to the sky. Trying to keep the shoulders on top of each other as much as you can, gazing up towards that hand and reaching out with that top foot. Nice big breath here. And then gaze to the floor. Let's drop that right arm with control, bend into the right knee, and then come back into tabletop. And we'll switch sides. Take an inhale, draw that left foot back, squeeze into the glutes, lift it up. And then we'll reach out with that right arm, coming into bird dog on the opposite side. Really reaching through the heel of the foot and the fingers, staying with the breath. And then we'll drop that right hand down, pivot on the right foot, and take a big inhale, open that left arm up to the sky. <clears throat> reaching that left foot out as far as you can, reaching up to the ceiling with the fingers. Keeping this nice and bright. And then with control, let's gaze down, bring that left hand down to the mat. Follow with the left knee. Come back to neutral, and then we'll press our hips up to the ceiling for downward facing dog. Keeping a nice bend in the knees, maybe walking the dog a little bit, bending through each knee, shifting the side to side. Just finding whatever feels good in your downward facing dog here. And then pressing into that right hand, let's find the balance on the right arm. Reach back to the right foot with the left arm, and just grab the shin coming into a bit of a twist here a downward dog twist so really pressing through that right arm pressing out through that right shoulder staying with that focus and then let's gaze back up to the top gaze between the hands bring that left hand down and we'll switch sides so same thing let's press into that left hand hover the right hand over and then reach back for the left shin reaching wherever you can keeping a large bend in the knees if you need to and just staying with the breath looking up towards the hands and coming back into our downward facing dog let's inhale step to the tops of our mats look up exhale forward fold and then inhale brings us all the way up through center hands through heart center awesome Let's bring the weight to the right foot. Let's grab that left foot, bring it up for tree. Hugging the left foot into the right thigh, sitting up nice and tall, finding that drishti, that focus point. Breathing. And then with control, we're going to start stepping back with that left foot coming into a high lunge. So find your train tracks, find a nice balance, and then reach up to the sky with the arms. <clears throat> Keep 
keeping the core nice and strong here, really lifting out through that pelvic bone. And then on the exhale, let's bring the hands at heart center, hook the left arm around the right leg, and then press into our revolved side angle, coming into a twist on our right, to our right side. Bending into that left leg as much as you need, and then trying to straighten it and reach out with that left heel. On the inhale, coming back up, coming back through high lunge, bend into the front knee, and then step to the top of the mat. Take a moment here in Tadasana, and we'll switch sides. So press into the left foot, bring the weight, shift the weight to the left foot. Inhale that right leg up, coming into tree on the opposite side. So the sole of the foot finds the inner thigh of the left leg. Hands come to heart center and we're focusing. Laser focused on that one spot. Breathing, our crown of our head stays lifted. And then with control, let's slowly step back. Drop the back toes for high lunge. Standing up nice and tall and then sinking down, sinking the hips down. Keeping the crown of the head lifted. And then on the exhale, let's bring the hands to heart center and we'll come into a revolved side angle on the opposite side. So hook that right arm on the left thigh and then press the arms together, coming into a twist. Finding that spot to gaze, staying nice and focused. And then inhale, release the twist, come back through our high lunge, bend through the front leg and step to the tops of our mats. Awesome. Just taking a moment here in Tadasana, catch the breath. And we'll move on. So taking a big step back with the right foot, let's set up for warrior two. So take a big inhale, arms come out nice and wide. Back foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat, front foot's facing forward. Shoulders are rolled back, crown of the head is lifted, and we're gazing out through that front left middle finger. On the inhale, let's reverse the warrior, reaching back with the right arm. One more breath here. And then on the inhale, let's bring our hands back up through center. Just start bunny hopping that right foot up. We're gonna reach down to the floor for our half moon. So if you have your blocks, you can press your hand on a block. If you can reach the floor, that also works. Trying to stack the hips here, stack the shoulders as much as we can, reaching up. <clears throat> and then with control, let's find our warrior two, and then inhale, step to the tops of our mats. <sighs> Taking a moment here, and we'll switch sides. So let's take an inhale, step back with that left foot, coming into our warrior two on the opposite side, reaching those arms out nice and wide, shoulders are rolled back, core stays nice and engaged. Big deep breaths. And then on the inhale, let's reverse that warrior, drop the left hand down to the left shin or the left thigh, try to avoid the knee. And then the inhale brings us back up through center with the torso. And then we're just gonna bunny hop that left leg up a little bit. Find your balance, gaze to the floor and come into our half moon on the opposite side. So hips stay stacked. We're reaching out with that left foot and we're reaching up with the left arm. If you'd like to float that right hand off of the floor, you are welcome to do so as well. And then gazing down to the floor with control, step back with that left foot, come back through warrior two, and then we'll step to the tops of our mats. Awesome, great work. <clears throat> now, let's have a little bit of fun. So let's inhale, come up to the tops of the toes. If you fall out of this, just come right back into it. We're just gonna play with some balance here. Reach the arms ahead of you, and we're gonna come down to the mat as slowly as we can on the tops of our toes. 
Just trying to keep that balance, keep that focus on that one spot. And come all the way down as slow as you can. And once we get here, we'll pause and then we'll have a little bit of fun. So let's roll onto our backs all the way back and then roll forward. Try to come back up onto the toes. See if you can bounce and we'll do that two more times. So roll back and then up onto the toes. Last time, all the way back. And then come back up onto the toes. Awesome job. And then we'll slowly roll onto the sit bones, coming into boat pose, Navasana. Keeping the legs, at whatever variation you like, keeping the knees bent if you'd like, straightening the legs if you have that in your practice. <sighs> and then checking behind you if you're going to squish a small dog. And we'll just come down nice and slowly. Come all the way to the mats. Awesome. Maybe scooching up on your mat a little bit. We're going to come into bridge pose. So let's roll the shoulders underneath, protecting the top of that neck. Press the heels of the feet into the floor. And then press those hips up to the sky. And on the inhale, we're going to lift our right leg up to the sky. If you need to use your hands underneath your lower back for a bit of support, you're welcome to do so. And just reaching up nice and high. And then placing that right foot down. <sighs> we'll take a moment here before we switch sides. So just let the knees fall together. <sighs> and then heel toe the feet back to parallel. Let's press back into those hips, roll the shoulders underneath, and we'll inhale that left foot up to the sky. <laughs> Just playing with the extra weight if you have a chihuahua on your stomach right now. <laughs> and just focusing on the breath. Drop that left foot down. Sink the hips back to the floor. Untuck the shoulders. And then drop the knees in to one another, widening the feet. Awesome job. Just taking a moment here, taking a breath. And then we'll bring our feet back to center. Let's shift our hips over to our left side and then draw those knees across the chest to the right side. If you'd like to bring that right arm onto the right thigh, you're welcome to do so. Trying to keep the knees stacked as much as possible. And then that left arm, the left shoulder stays glued to the floor. Maybe taking the gaze over that left arm as well. Hmm. Dropping the palms of the hands. Let's just switch sides. So inhale those knees back to center. Scooch the hips over to the opposite side. And then we'll bring our knees to our chest and just let them fall over to the left side. Again, placing that left hand on the right thigh if you'd like and keeping that right shoulder glued to the floor. Maybe bringing your gaze over that right arm. And then bringing the gaze back through center. Let's inhale those knees back to neutral. Shift the hips back through center. Inhale the knees to the chest and then we'll rock ourselves just a little bit here. Give a quick little back massage. And then we'll roll up to seated. Awesome. We'll close our class today with one nice big sigh. So exhale the air all out. Big inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Awesome. That's all for the class today. If you like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.